So the functionality that we have is we let users purchase a subscription and then they can change their credit card if they want to. The last thing that we're going to be doing is how does a user cancel their subscription or cancel their account. And before we get into that though, I want to change the button here. It looks like we're purchasing something when we're really just changing that credit card for the user. So we can change that. I looked up the props that we need to pass to Stripe checkout. We're going to start by using the panel label here. And this is in the change credit card component. I'm just going to say the panel label be change card. And then we can pass in a custom button here. And I'm just going to say on the button, uh, change credit card. So now what this looks like is instead of it looking like we're going to pay, we click change credit card and we can change our card. And now if I go to a user who has not signed up for anything yet, we can clear this, go over to register, and I can create a new user. This particular user is now going to say pay with the card and we can see that here. And there's one improvement we could also make on this page is by telling the user how much it costs. Um, so I can come over here to subscribe to user and we can pass on a prop here called amount. In our case, this is gonna be in cents. So our product cost uh, $10. So we'll add that. Oops, I didn't want too many. There we go. Um, and we'll say pay with card. And here we go. Now you can see it says pay $10 for this particular product. Um, all right. So that's all I want to do to the UI for that. Let's go ahead and add the functionality to cancel someone's card. So we're going to start by creating a mutation for that. And in the type defs over here, I'm going to say cancel subscription. And this is going to just return a new user. And you'll notice we're not going to take any arguments because we don't really need to know any information. We know who the user is based on the cookie, and that's pretty much all we need. So we're going to copy this, and I'm going to take the change of credit card, and we're going to have some similar checks at the top of this. So we don't need to know the source in this, so I'm just going to get rid of that. And you'll notice the first thing we're going to check again is authentication. Then we want to make sure that we can actually find a user based on that. And we want to make sure that they have a Stripe ID and that they're paid. So if all these conditions are met, that means we can look up the Stripe customer and we can remove their account and whatnot. So the first step is to actually grab the Stripe customer. So we're going to say stripe.customers.get, or not get, but we want to grab it. Um, and I believe it just retrieve. Um, and we're going to pass in our ID. And in this case, it's going to be user.stripe ID. And so what this is going to do is it's going to return us the Stripe user uh, from the Stripe account. Now, the reason why we're grabbing the Stripe user or Stripe customer is because it contains uh, the data that we want, subscription data that we want to cancel. So I can say Stripe customer dot subscriptions dot data, and then I'm just going to get the first subscription. So what data is, and you can scroll over or highlight this in TypeScript to see the type definition for it, is it is an array of subscriptions. So this is all the subscriptions that this customer is signed up for. In this case, I expect customer to only have one subscription. So I'm going to just destructure the first one here. And this is the subscription that I want to cancel. Uh, let's go ahead and get rid of that stuff there. So in this case, I'm going to say stripe.subscriptions.delete and I'm going to say subscription.id. So again, this is basically the steps we took. We grabbed the customer so we could see what subscriptions it had. We are going to just delete the first subscription. You can delete more if you want to delete all of them if you have uh, a place where you're uh, subscribing to user and multiple things. In this case, we just have a single one. We're deleting that. The other thing is if a user is getting rid of their subscription, I kind of just want to delete their credit card as well because I assume they're pretty much done using the product or whatever. Uh, again, this is optional. Maybe it makes more sense to keep the credit card on for your particular product. But if you wanted to delete the user's credit card, you could. So in this case, I could say stripe dot, uh, not that, it's going to be customers dot delete card. And here we're going to pass in both the customer ID, which 
which is again just going to be the Stripe ID. Uh, user .stripe ID. There we go. And then this is going to be the second parameter is the card ID. So the card ID is the ID of the card we want to get rid of. And in our case, we can get that from the Stripe customer and we can say default source. And I'm going to wait. Now there's not always a default source. It could be undefined. So I'm going to just say, oops, as string. If we highlight this, we can see what the different values are going to be. Um, it sometimes could be null, it sometimes could be a Bitcoin thing. In my case, I know that the default source is going to be just a credit card um, and it's going to be the credit card that I want to delete. The other thing is you could make an if statement is if the user has if dot default oops stripe customer dot default source. I think that that makes a lot of sense. But uh, I expect all the Stripe customers to have a default source, so this may not even be a good if statement to have. And if they don't, maybe I want it to crash so I can look at what's going on in my code. Anyway, so this will delete the card, and this default source is going to be the credit card that I want to remove. So again, we're going to be deleting the subscription and the card for that user. And then lastly, I'm just going to update it in our database now. So I have a type which is set to paid if they're here. So maybe I want to set it back to trial, or what did I call it? Did I call it free trial? Uh, if I go back here, yep, free trial. So maybe I want to push them back to the type of free trial. Maybe I want to call them cancel or canceled or something. Um, so you can do different things depending on what you want your service to do. In this case, I'm just going to knock them back to a free trial. And then I'm going to hit save for that user. And the other thing you could do with this is if you want to mark the date that this happened, maybe you want to allow the user to use your product for the next 30 days or something until basically their subscription ends, you could do that. Um, so you could do that as well. All right, but this will delete the subscription and for that user and cancel it. Uh, the, the last thing we could also do here is say user.stripe ID. We could just set that to null if we wanted to. Um, we could do that if, for example, we didn't want to, and by the way, this is mad at me because uh, I didn't say in my type definition that this could possibly be null. And we should do that for the for that as well, for the credit card number. Um, but you could uh, reset basically the Stripe ID if you wanted to, and then if the user was going to resubscribe to your account, they could, but they would basically just create a whole new Stripe customer for that. Um, but I'm going to be showing you how you can actually, you don't have to set to null, how we can resubscribe the user as well. But anyway, let's get this cancellation, uh, cancel this and see, uh, actually run this on the front end and see what's going on there. So let's create a new one, which I'm going to say cancel subscription. And I'm just going to make this a button. So I'm going to say cancel subscription. And on click, basically, I want to cancel. So here I'm going to call the cancel subscription mutation. And I'll give it some parameters here. Well, actually, we don't need any parameters. I forgot there's no variables for this. So we'll just say cancel subscription. Uh, and let's copy our exact thing. All right, so I want to grab the user back when I'm doing this because we're going to be updating the type. And again, I want to use the same thing that we're using for all of these, which is this user info fragment. So I'm going to copy that. User fragment. And let's go ahead and import GQL. All right, uh, this is, is really mad at me. One variable declaration in the same statement are forbidden. Oh, I just didn't put an equal sign. All right, so we have that. Let's go ahead and generate the types. So I'm gonna create a new terminal on my website and I'm gonna just say gen types. All right, so I did something wrong. Uh, operation extraction failed. And let's see, 
I could be mad that I have this. I didn't think it actually checked that. Um, yeah, it looks like it works now. So I just had a syntax error in my TypeScript code. So that looks like that was the reason why I could generate the types. So I didn't know it checked the TypeScript, but there we go. Um, and if I click on my schema types over here, there we go. It should ha now have that information. And I can create a mutation for this. We haven't used, uh, or we have used a mutation component before, so we're going to use that again. And we'll wrap our button. And we're going to use those types. So I'm going to say cancel subscription. And there's going to be no, oops, there's going to be no, we could do an empty object because there's going to be no variables, but I'm just going to just leave it off. That works as well. And then we need to pass in our mutation, which is going to be cancel subscription mutation. Um, and then we're going to say mutate here. And let's see what it, oh, we just need to import it, I think. And we get that from React Apollo. I'm going to split up my imports up here. So I have uh, the absolute and relative. And then we're just going to call the mutation here. And there's really no other thing we need to do. And I'm going to say as any. Because we don't really need to pass, you know what, actually, we don't want to pass any parameters to mutate. So I'm just going to say call it like that. Because on click we'll pass it an event handler to the mutate, which I don't really want to do. So I'm just going to pass it like this. All right, so now we're just need to render render this. So let's come over to our account and underneath change credit card we can have cancel subscription. All right, so we'll come back over here and let's log in with a user that has an account already. And now I can cancel this guy's subscription. Now to make sure this works, I want to come back over here and view this this user and see his things. So I can go to customers, I can see qaq.com, and I can see this guy has an Amex card, and I can see he's subscribed to test. And if I go to billing, I can also see my subscriptions, and I can see who's subscribed. So if cancel subscription works, those things should get uh, basically gotten rid of. And you'll notice the UI updated. So the user is now a free trial user. So the, it's now going to show them, hey, would you like to pay with a card? Now that their subscription is done with. Um, we may want to console log what we get back from mutate, but uh, we can see if we have any errors over here. And it doesn't look like there are, so we can go check Stripe and see if that worked. All right, so you'll notice we have one last active subscription now. And if we come to our customers over here, we can see qiq.com is still there. We didn't delete the customer. We want to keep that. But you'll notice they're canceled up here. And you'll notice we don't have a card for them. Okay. So we're going to do one last thing, and that's going to be updating this pay with card. So right now, the pay with card feature always creates a new Stripe customer. But for example, this particular user um, already has a Stripe ID, and we don't want to create a new customer for them. So that's going to be in our create subscription up here. So what we're going to do is we're going to say if user.stripeID. So if they have a Stripe ID, we want to do that. Um, or sorry, if they don't have a Stripe ID, we want to create a customer. Otherwise, we want to do that. So here I'm going to say uh, let Stripe ID is equal to user.stripeID. And so if there's not a Stripe ID, then we're going to create a customer here. And we're going to say Stripe ID is equal to customer.stripe ID or customer just ID. And then down here, I'm just going to set the Stripe ID. Here, we're going to update the uh, user or the customer, if you will. So now we're going to be handling the two cases. In this case, uh, we don't have a Stripe ID for the user, so we're going to create a brand new customer and we're going to set the Stripe ID. In this case over here, we already have a Stripe ID for them, so we don't need to create a customer. Really, we just need to update them. So we can say await stripe.customers.update 
and we can pass in the ID, in this case, the Stripe ID, and then what we wanna update, in this case, the source. We also wanna set them up with a plan. Now, interesting thing with this is if I come over here to, not the dashboard, but this is the place where uh, uh, I look to see how do I actually do these calls in Stripe. So if you don't know about this, this is very handy. It's the docs for Stripe, and I'm currently looking at the Node version. So you can see it actually gives you really nice examples and you can see the response data that you get back. So you don't just have to look at the TypeScript types. Um, but in this case, you'll notice that they're creating a subscription here for an existing user. So when I look through the documentation of uh, updating the, the account or updating a customer, I wasn't sure if it let me update the plan as well. So we're gonna try that. If it doesn't work, we can create a subscription by calling this right here. So let's give that a try. So just like we did up here, I'm gonna copy the plan in there. And that should say Stripe ID. Um, there we go. Argument of type, plan does not exist. So yeah, see how it doesn't let me actually create a plan right here when I update it. So that means we're gonna to have to do a second call to Stripe. And we're gonna say await. So first we add the credit card to the account again, and then we're gonna subscribe the user. So the customer is gonna be the Stripe ID. And the item here is the plan, which we're gonna use this plan right here. There we go. And it looks like I need to do the bang sign there. Bang sign making sure that this is actually a string and actually defined, um, or casting it to that. All right, so we are first going to add the credit card to the user's account and then add the subscriptions. When we create the customer, it lets us do that all in one shot, which is nice, but here we're gonna have to split it up. And then lastly, we're just gonna set the Stripe ID equal to the Stripe ID. So nothing will change here if we already had a Stripe ID, but if we didn't have a Stripe ID, notice I said let up here and I set the customer ID equal to that. All right, so now this should handle the particular case where we have a Stripe ID already and we wanna just update their account. So let's give that a try. We're gonna refresh. We're gonna to have to re-log in here. So we already have a account for this queue user. Um, not this one, we'll go to dashboard. So now when I'm finished with this, I should see a credit card come up for this particular user and then also a subscription for him. So we can go ahead and pay. Uh, we can pick a credit card that we want. Let's do this one. And we'll go ahead and purchase it. Awesome. And now we can cancel our change of credit card again and we can see the last four digits. And now we can go check our dashboard. This user should be resubscribed to our service now. And we can see we now have a new card, perfect. And now if we go to our billing, we can see subscriptions and we see Q at Q.com is now resubscribed to that. All right, so that is how you can set up canceling a user's subscription in Stripe and then also resubscribing them to that same subscription if they want to come back later and do that. So that is it for this video, guys. Thanks for watching.